So through studying fungi, we've learned some real fundamental things about in ways in which disease occurs in other organisms and about the way in which the human immune system uh, operates. Let me give you just one example of such a surprise. This year it was discovered that those people who suffer from alcoholic liver disease may be, be their condition may be being made worse by the microbes, the fungal microbes that live in the gut. These gut living fungi can deliver parts of their cell walls into the bloodstream. And those cell walls can activate inflammation in the liver. Now, if that's the case, you might argue, perhaps you should be able to treat and mitigate against the symptoms of alcoholic liver disease such as cirrhosis by using antifungals to clear or reduce the load of fungi in the gut. This was done in this paper and was found to be somewhat successful. So we're now beginning to see that we know that we live with fungi much of our lives. We're exposed to fungi all the time. We're breathing in fungal spores with almost every breath we take. We live in a world which is colonized by, by fungi. Mostly we do quite well in defending ourselves against it. But times we don't, and we need to be able to get on top of that, uh, not only in terms of medical mycologists, but as cancer biologists, as those people studying autoimmune conditions and a variety of other types of medically important uh, situation. My name is, is Neil Gow. I'm based at the University at Aberdeen and the MRC Centre for Medical Mycology. I'm actually the sectional editor of the, the first part of this book, which deals with the principles of medical mycology. And this is a pleasure to do, and it really does allow the student to get a, a real grip of the understanding of the organisms from the point of view of their fundamental physiology, their biochemistry, their genetics, and their taxonomy. So the first section really gives you an introduction to these as a group of organisms and really what makes them tick.